welcome back to the diary. I'm not actually on North Met this weekend. I might go over there later on tonight, but I've decided to have a bit of a change of scenery. I've struggled, I'm not going to lie, I've struggled on North Met since Paul had Hell's fish. I've not even seen a carp. I think he's done a few fish. I know of three, three or four definite fish, but apart from that, it's pretty dead. And that was like five weeks ago. So I've camped out on there for five weekends. I've fished pretty much all over the place. I did fish down the north end. I actually fished the other side of the pipe because the following week after Paul had Hells, there was a few fish. There's about 12 fish stacked up down the channel just the other side of the pipe. And I actually witnessed for myself the box common swim from the north end, Jurassic Park end, into the actual north end of the main lake. So that done me then. I thought, oh my God, like, they are getting through the pipe. You know what I mean? I didn't want to believe it at first, but it's pretty obvious when you see it with your own eyes that they are using that. So yeah, I floated about, fished open water quite a lot, fished the north end, fished up around the islands, Cadmore Lane end, and nothing. Not even seeing them showing. So I've decided instead of having a break, I don't ever have a break. I should do really, but I don't. I've changed. I've changed the scenery for this week. I come over last week. I done Friday night at North Met down in the pipe swim. I packed up Saturday morning and thought, ah, oh, I'll come over here. It's only 10 minutes down the road. Another big pit, and yeah, come here. It was good. Had a big wind on here. Didn't see nothing, but it felt good. So this weekend, I've decided to return to this pit and give it a bash. I'm going to fish this pit in the spring, so I'm going to get a little feel for it now but apparently it's doing day bites so I'm going to walk about today hopefully get on them if I don't and I don't see anything I'm going to shoot back over North Met and do a night on there because that's night bites everything gets caught at night at the minute if they do get caught so yeah we're going to uh, going to give it a bash on here walk about today if I don't see anything I'm not going to bother setting up on an area where I think they might be because I can do that on North Met and I've got else fish in North Met a fish that I really want and I need to get the job done sooner rather than later so if I don't see nothing today I'm going to get back on North Met tonight. And we're off. It's going to take about three hours to get around this place. Don't last Saturday, good three hour trip. But hopefully it's worth it and I'll find some because I'm feeling this place now. I don't fancy North Met today to be honest but if I don't see nothing here then I'm going to go over North Met because I mean, what's the point of sitting here when you ain't saying nothing in the hope when I could do that on North Met and there's fish in there that I want. There's fish in there that I want, but I'll join this water for the spring. So I'm not too bothered at the minute. But it'd be nice to get one for the camera this weekend. So yeah, we're going to walk about. Hopefully find a few. Keep the fingers crossed on that one. Big bit of water. We'll try. Morning. As you can see, I didn't carry it on on the other big pit down the road because I walked around all day, never saw a fish, and what's the point in camping out over there when I can do the same on here? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm in the lee swim down the north end, and I did actually see a suspected couple of carp shows. So I was confident last night, put my rods out just before it got dark, and I was hoping I'll get a pick up at some point during the night because it is all night bites, and we're now 
going into midday Sunday Sunday afternoon so there you go I've blanked definitely blanked I'm gonna start packing up now I'm not too sure about where my fishing is gonna go from there it's gonna start getting cold next week maybe that's what this place needs but in my actual honest opinion I think the place is done and dusted I've done all winter on it last year and my last bite was the end of October it's now the end of October now and I slugged it out through all sorts of conditions hoping I'll get a that one bite from Els because it has done previous winter captures but yeah f after last year I'm not willing to put up with that again could fish different this year but I ain't sticking about I've got another water planned for the start of November I might do a couple more weekends on here but I want to start hitting that place now it's, uh, it's another park lake I won't name it or nothing but it's quite low stock mega low stock if you put it into a context but it's got a reward there, a big reward. So I'm, I'm buzzing for that place now. Can't wait to get on there. It's a change of scenery, new breath of fresh air, something that I need because the Lee Valley has not done it for me. Unfortunately, last autumn was kind to me. This autumn, it's done me, done me up. It's done a lot of people up actually. It's not fished particularly good. It's done a handful of fish and yeah. I reckon I could do another couple of weeks on here, still not catch, but I'm going to have to see how it goes. I've got another week's work ahead of me now on the roof, some buyer. I'm saying now I'll, I'll fancy somewhere else next week, but come Friday, I'll be like, North Met, North Met, got to get over there, Elves Fish. I'll do it every week. On the Sunday, like now, I feel like, yeah, I'll go somewhere else next week. By Friday, boom, I'm back over here. Well, there you go. It's carp fishing for you, ain't it? I'm going to start packing up now. Hopefully I'll get one within the next 10 minutes, half an hour. But if I don't, I'll see you next time around. Could be on another lake. Who knows? Ta-da. Friday morning, I'm off of work because I've got a bad shoulder. My right shoulder, it's in bits. I've done it in the gym, so I couldn't go to work. So it's about midday now, Friday, and we're on North Met. So I wouldn't, but I am. So yeah, we've entered it from the rear entrance down the north end, the Valley, Valley Park farm entrance. So we're going to go for a walk about, see if we can find any fish. Conditions ain't that good for spotting fish, but hopefully. I'll see something. Obviously the lake is situated between a river and a train track, so no matter what way you hit this place from, there's four entrances, or no matter what way you get them from, there's a bridge you got across. So, yeah, all that looks better. Driving down the track, you've got a little gate, still open access, but there's still obviously a bridge to get over. So the power porter, that comes in handy on this place. You need one, really. But you don't need one, but it makes life a lot easier. And when you've got a bad shoulder, it's a godsend. I don't think I'll be spotting much because I can't. Even holding this selfie stick up, it's killing me. So it's not good. I don't think I don't think I'll be going to work next week either, to be honest. The boss won't be happy, but you know what I mean, it's just getting worse and worse. So hopefully I have one car and it's helps. If I don't, it don't matter, I just need to rest me just. Uh, rest my shoulder. So we're gonna go for a walk around the pit, see what we got. Just coming up to the bridge now, you'll see big old bridge once again. <laughs> see you in a bit. Here we have it. I've got three rods out now in the pylon on swim down the north end of the pit. I honestly believe that Els fish is still about down this north end somewhere or even the other side of the pipe maybe. But you don't know. Like 
the water clarity is still terrible, so you can't even see in the snags and stuff. You can't see, you can't find fish basically. They're not really showing. I've not seen a shine here for months. If they do show us at night, well, I'm really up against it now, and it's getting to me because I'm fishing blind every weekend. But that's the nature of the beast on this pit this, this year. It's totally different to last year. The water clarity was crystal last year, and the crayfish were in the edge, like the crays are active. They're not that active this year. They still are active, but not like they were. And I think that's had a big effect on the carp and the feeding. So, I'm down here. Down the north end, I think I might move tomorrow. There's a big northerly, northwesterly coming in, and I think they might get on that. So I'm gonna probably move to the bench swim tomorrow afternoon. But we're gonna see how it goes tonight. Hopefully I'll see a few carp, because I fancy this swim. It's looking good, it's got winter form, it's got summer form, so it's an all-round swim. You know what I mean? They get caught all year round out of this area. It's just if they're here. If they're here, I should catch. If they're not here, then I obviously won't catch. So we'll see how it goes tonight and we'll get back to you in the morning. Right, it's the following day. I didn't catch anything last night. I did see a suspected show. I didn't actually see the fish, but I see the commotion. And about 30 seconds later, just further to the right, I see a towel, like another show, and it was a towel, and it was the towel of a carp, definite carp. So I was on them, and then I woke up this morning, got up before first light, watched the uh, light roll in, and they weren't carp, they was tench. I weren't sure at the time, but there was a lot of shows, and they wasn't big enough for the carp. I didn't know there was that many tench in here, but I spoke to Bailiff earlier, and there's quite a fair few tench, and apparently like it in this corner. So instead of moving today to the bench swim, like I said I would, I've decided to stay here because there was def there was one definite carp here yesterday and if the tents are here, I'm pretty certain that a few carps were rolling. My mate Nicky, he was fishing up the sit last night and he had two bites. He had an 18 pound stocky and lost a decent common at the net. So they're obviously down this end still and I'm pretty confident for tonight. I've changed my rigs a bit. I've decided to change my booms on my Ronnies and I've gone for the 20 pound Ridge Monkey RM Tech fluorocarbon, which is good stuff. Also, I've trimmed down my uh, rubber baits. I've cut them in half basically on two rods and I've also opted for a smaller hook on two rods. Up against the snags, I've kept it the same. Size four RM Tech curve, but the other two size six is now and I'm basically fishing for anything now. If I can get a bite of a tench, it's good. And yeah, I need some action. So we're gonna see what tonight brings. I need a bit of confidence behind me again. So scaling down a bit, changing from what I was using to fluorocarbon could, could bring the result I really need. So we'll see how tonight pans out. But yeah, fingers crossed. That one then, another weekend gone, fishless. There's still a few tents showing this morning. I've not managed to catch a tench. I've not seen a carp, so it's hard going. It's really beating me up this place this year. And I'm thinking I need to get a bend in the rods somewhere else to get a bit of a confidence boost back in myself. 
I was planning on obviously moving from here to another water for the winter at the start of November, which is pretty much now. But I think I might still give it another couple of weekends on this place. Obviously my mate Nick had a fish. Still doing bites. I don't think any of the big ones are gonna come out now. I think it's I think it's done and dusted for that, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a few more stockies about. And just anything out of here in a minute will do. One more carp I want. Hopefully it's L's, but I'm not too sure on that. I reckon it'll come out of February time. Not, not just yet. So quiet on here. I will see how it goes. Start packing up now. Get back home. See what I'll, see what I'm going to do about work with my shoulder. Still in bits. But we'll see. Could get out down my local Warren or something. Get a bend. Get a couple of carp. Get a little confidence boost. But I'll be back here next weekend. That's for sure. I'll see you in a bit. It's Monday morning and you find me down the Warren Fishery in Stamford Hope, Essex. It's right local to me, it's about a five minute drive. I live in Corrigan, which is pretty much, this place is on my doorstep. I used to walk down here, used to finish school, get my bike ride down here. Used to meet my mate Chris Belcher up Corrigan Town Centre at the weekends. Early doors at five in the morning, load up my barra. I had a three wheel barra at the time, not a lot changes. All that's changed now is I've got a motor on it. So yeah, back in the day I had a, back in the day I had a chub barra. Me and Chris used to walk down from Corringham. It's about two miles, so we was proper keen back then. And this place is where I really cut my teeth. I really, I fish hard now, but I fished hard back then. I haven't really stopped fishing how I fish now. And if you know me, you know I'm out every weekend without foul, no matter what. It's got to take something really bad to happen or a massive event for me to not go fishing. So <laughs> it's one of them. But yeah, I got down last night in the dark. It was about five and a half degrees. Ended up setting up about 8 o'clock, so it's pitch black. I fished a swim that I normally fished in the winter. I've done really well from here, a swim called the beach. And it's only gonna, it's gonna produce something very special to me. To you who's watching this, it don't really mean a lot, but to me, last night I caught a common, 25 pound eight. And as soon as I got it in the net, well, as soon as I got it on the mat, I saw this wart on his tail. And I was like, I recognise that. And it had a bit of a damaged mouth, it's got like a beak of a mouth. And I've looked at it and I was like, that's that, that's that snowfish I caught. I had it back in 2009, end of December. It was the 18th of December, 2009. Caught that fish, I caught that along with a 20 pound near enough fully scaled, a 23 pound common. And then, yeah, it was an absolute blizzard, Arctic. Woke up in the, like, I had fish during the night and it was fork, like purple fork lightning on the far horizon towards the South End Pier opposite. And I was playing this, uh, playing this mirror and it was snow in my face. It brought back so many memories. Snow in my face, couldn't see what I was doing. Purple fork lightning. The whole place was a total white out. And when I woke the following morning, the snow had all settled and I was like, yes, the ultimate snow shot. I've got one in the retainer and I'm gonna have the ultimate snow shot. Anyway, it was about quarter past eight that morning, back in 2009, and then my middle rod pulled up tight. Line was all frozen, snow, about two inches of snow on top of my rods, and I've picked it up and I've bent into another fish. And it was only the fish I caught last night at 25 pound, 14 ounce. Lovely common, bit of damage, but it's a really old fish and it's not really done much in its weight. A lot of the old fish in here, they don't really put the weight on. The stockies are coming through now like most waters, but the old originals, we did have a fish kill this year and quite a few of the big originals died, so it's good to see that one still in here. Mega buzz with that. To be honest, I'm proper made up. Like, it's not all about big carp for me, 40s and 50s, although they're nice, it's also about what they mean to you, and that's what carp fishing should be about, what they mean to you as well, not just a 50 pound fish, you know what I mean? I do chase 50s and 40s because that's what I like doing, but I know a lot of people, like my mate Chris now, he don't go chasing 40s and 50s. He's chasing nice scaly ones, like 20s, 30s, and he's well happy. So he's got limited time. 
I'm a bit different, I'm single, no kids, you know what I mean? So I can go out, do what I want, and I do fish these big fish waters. But coming back down the world last night, it's it's a breath of fresh air, you know what I mean? It never it never fouls, it always delivers for me no, normally, especially in the colder months. Usually I turn up, the lake, the lake freezes on me. I'm quite well known for that down here. When I turn up, the lake freezes because I only really fish this in the winter. But it's a mega bit of water, 24 acres, it's like a mini North Met. You've got all bays, spits, islands, and yeah, there's there's areas where the fish hold up more than others. So it's a proper carp water, proper old gravel pit. It gets really weedy in the summer. So I learned a lot from here, and I've took that and moved on to other waters. And I believe I've done quite well over the years since I left this place because of this place, 100%. I started on here, and it's got everything you need to know to learn about carp fishing. So yeah, that carp, <laughs> Happy with that. Hopefully, I'm going to do another night tonight. It's Monday now, so I'm going to do tonight, and then tomorrow I've got a park lake that I'm going to fish. That's what I've chose for the winter. I might float over there Tuesday night. I've got to see a specialist about my shoulder on Wednesday, so I've got a few nights. Hopefully, we'll catch a few more. Butts in. <laughs> Come on. Here we are, my old friend, my old carp talk cover fish. Nine years later, a little bit down in weight, but that's how they are on this place. I'm mega pleased with this. Good to be reunited with an old friend. Trying to make it YouTube famous. Happy days.